what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck was that? I'm sorry, man. No, I, was, yeah, I wasn't man. thinking about you it. Nah, I did it. I, was, yeah, I should have said my bird king. March 22, here I was, minding my beautiful black business, waiting for Metro Boomin and Future to drop their collab album, which I've been waiting a long time for, because it's Metro Boomin and Future. What black person wouldn't want to hear that? It drops, and I'm listening, and I can get to a song like that. And after Future spits his little verse about drinking lean and codeine and being an horrible father, I hear the verse of nothing but pure hatred. A verse that said nothing but I want war, because I don't like either of you niggas whatsoever. A verse that consisted of someone letting their nuts hang nuts and letting hang. it be known that no one is on his level. And especially the people that say they're on his level, that think they're on his level, aren't in any aspect of the slightest. Also, The Weeknd was on the album. I thought that was pretty cool too. And that was the start of the beef we are currently dealing with now with Kendrick versus Drake. And Drake versus everyone because surprise, surprise, not many people like Drake. And it's not like niggas are just hating for the most part. They have reasons valid reasons to not like drake at all and kendrick laid out those reasons perfectly we ain't seen beef like this in a minute and i know for sure drake hasn't where it's just a nigga that doesn't like him as a person in the slightest kendrick couldn't care less how much more money drake has or how much he sells this is a deconstruction of drake's character and that's what this beef is at the core because not only is kendrick one of the few artists out there that can compete with drake sales wise to an extent he just doesn't care about sales like that to the amount that drake does Kendrick has always been known to be a quality over quantity person. Why you think he waited five years for Mr. Morale? Cause that nigga was going through some shit and he wanted to express that perfectly through his music. That's why the big three bar from like that makes so much sense because at the core to Kendrick, these niggas aren't like me. I could be with both of y'all commercially. I'm better than J. Cole commercially and quality wise. I talk about things that you niggas are too scared to bring up or try to make a change on. I can't name the last time Drake has spoken up fighting for black people and J. Cole don't even read. So in reality, we not even on the same level. There is no big three. Y'all niggas ain't like me in the slightest. And saying that out loud, would y'all not feel the same if niggas that put in nowhere near as much work as you started comparing you to them saying that we're all on the same level and we're all friends? That we all, you know, we all make the same quality music. We're all buddy, buddy. No, eat a dick. Y'all ain't, y'all niggas not like me. I'm better than y'all, matter of fact. And I'm especially better than J. Cole's lay, man. While this beef has been entertaining to watch, there has been two things to just bring it down by a lot. The response time argument and the fact that there is just too many niggas involved with this beef for it to be fair. Because now niggas are going to use the excuse of, oh, it's a 1v20. There's so many niggas on Drake's dig now. I mean, like, have you seen what Drake's been doing? For example, in the case of ASAP Rocky, Drake has been sneak dissing Rihanna for like two years now. If I'm ASAP Rocky, fuck a song. I'm beating the shit out you, nigga. That's the mother of my kids. <laughs> you wanted her. She has two of my kids now, nigga. Get over it. You lost. Another example, in the case of The Weeknd, nigga, you didn't make me. I was already on the rise with one of the most influential R&B albums if not the most influential R&B album of the 2010s before you even fucking found me, nigga. So that excuse doesn't work. Plus, I gave you some of my songs for Take Care to help me to help you because I wasn't still that big yet. The only argument you can use for Drake being someone's biggest song is Rick Ross. That's really it. And before the niggas with receding hairlines hop in my comments tweaking the fuck out, I don't listen to Rick Ross, so I don't hear that much. Besides him, there's no argument of Drake carrying someone's career. Like, genuinely, you think the weekend that is like the last nigga you want to pull that card for so the rest of this is recorded like three days after i started making this video and a lot has happened within that time with drake dropping two really good this is saying kendrick is a woman beater and that he's been feeding him fake info with the ovo goons that kendrick has been talking about and kendrick dropping two all-time great diss tracks especially meet the grams i heard that shit in a lift on the way to martha's house and i was mortified my nigga Kendrick talking to Drake's entire family, saying he has another daughter, allegedly, that he has predators on OVO and that Drake is himself a predator. Like, bro. That shit had academics raging on stream, bro. It was fucking crazy. And after the heart part six, that shit's only gonna get crazier. But what needs to happen is receipts. Who's telling the truth and who's lying? That's what we need to find out and figure out fast because these are some serious ass claims, especially for Drake. Because if these claims are true, him getting caught with another kid, him having predators in OVO, and himself being a predator and P word, it might actually be over. Thank you, Megan Thee Stallion, because we would not be here without you. She set the tone earlier this year with the beef. 
we would not be at this point without her bro i'm just being real and with how vicious this beef is all i can say is j cole was right <laughs>